All right, everyone, we're back in Axeman World. We got Matt here. Um, sh stop right there. This is my domain. I'm Matt. Mm. Um, also, Jiro, the uh, chainsaw fist, it was coming up as a missing mesh. So I just replaced it with a, uh, a power fist. So I don't know what was wrong with that. Don't know. Domain? Yes, Domain. I am the great wizard Critical Miss. And who are you? Who so boldly enters my realm? What? What? I, I... Okay, look. I don't think this is working out the way I wanted to. Let's start over. I'm Matt. Hi, Matt. I'm Al Chestbreach. I'm a courier. A courier? I, I didn't order anything. Do you have a message from one of my friends or something? You know, I don't, I don't... Actually, I'm here to ask about a grenade launcher you found. I think it's the one on your back. What about what about the grenade launcher? Hmm. What about it? Can I have it? Sure. But I don't need it anymore anyway. Wait. Why don't you need it anymore? Look around you. I have a bunch of murderous, mutated animals at my command, and this is just the start. The start of what? My new world order. I will no longer be that guy, Matt, who plays monsters and mazes and gets no respect from his men. Instead, with my animal army behind me, I'll become Critical Miss, Beastmaster, and God King of the Wastes. And no one will ever laugh at my hobbies again. Never. You want to take over the wasteland with animals? Not want to. Will. There's nothing anyone can do to stop me. How are you controlling these animals anyway? So, can you give me it? Uh, how are you controlling these animals? There's a device built into these robes that lets me do it. I'm not sure how, but at this point, I don't really care. Can I take a closer look? I'm a bit of a science nerd. Maybe I can improve it. So, hey, let me, let me just touch it real quick, Matt. Sure, the control panel is here on the belt. Just open it up and... Wait, what are you doing? No! No! <laughs> Mr. Cuddle Hurts, Pinchy, Osama Bin Brahmin, all these beautiful, beautiful bitches. I'm sorry you have to go. Well, except for Osama Bin Brahmin. I don't give a crap about you. Right in the ass. Open fire, damn it. I got some three bean grenades. Jesus Christ, he's going wild! He's going wild! Oh, jeez. Oh, Jim Jams. We gotta look at the rest of these creatures. Go away. I am planning world domination. Don't shoot me. It's getting more done. Sorry, Matt. Looks like you're... Uh... Fucking dead. Nice. Bush's bean shooter. Bean ammo. Power fist. Alright. Bush's bean shooter ammo recipe. We never knew Heinz and Bush's real names. The names they used were taken from two fairly common brand of pre-war canned beans. Apparently the two of them had been part of a group of prospectors who scavenged pre-war buildings up in Northern California. They were exploring some kind of safe house. Oh wait. It's just kind of the same thing. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, Bush was a much better shot than Hines, so Billy custom made a single shot grenade launcher that had a tube big enough to fire bean cans. Then he and Bush figured out how to turn the cans themselves into makeshift grenade rounds. They packed just as much of a punch as the real thing. As the beans. I got my beans. Uh, hey, buddy. What's wrong? X-Man is worried that the hobo might not be able to find Shitty Man's bat. Mm. Shitty Man? Who's Shitty Man? X-Man can't remember his name, but I do remember he was like a shittier version of me, so he's Shitty Man. Oh, that makes sense. Let's say sense. Why are you so worried? Because the hobo says he doesn't know where Shitty Man's bat is, and Shitty Man was really important to me. And you said I can't kill hobo, but if the hobo can't find Shitty Man's bat, I won't have anything to remember him by. So I should be allowed to kill the hobo. He'll find the bat, Axeman, and even if he can't, we agreed you're not killing him. 
X-Man knows that, but it's not fair. X-Man. Mm. Okay. Life isn't fair, X-Man. You'll just have to accept that. You're right, it's not fair. Fur will be killing since asked for what he did. Let's do it. I'm sorry, X-Man. X-Man knows you are. It's okay. I won't kill the hobo. Mm. X-Man. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is everyone? <laughs> All right, Osama bin Brahmin, Cuddle Hurts, Black Sheep, Matt Jr. Oh, because it's a bear. Hello, Pinchy. Pinchy the Pincher. Where's the Cazador? Where'd that Cazador go? Nightmare. CB! Callback dog! I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, cor Coral, Coral, Coral! You, ru you ruined Reggie Tater's uh, dialogue section. Coral, Coral! You did bad, Coral. Anyone else? X Man. So the voices stopped working because this is where I st stop sending Jero the voice lines because a big old dickhead. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies, tell me, tell me lies. Oh no, no, you can't disguise. Stop drinking that. Did you find Matt? I killed Matt. Good. I've had some luck on my end, too. I think I may have found the bat. Where is it? Mm, where is it? Well, if my sources are right, it somehow ended up with some crazy ghoul who's hiding out in the sewers under the town of Prim. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah! Ooh, I found a bat, yeah! Come on! <laughs> Any idea how a ghoul got the bat? None whatsoever. I'm not even 100% sure he does have it. All I know is my sources said there's some nutjob ghoul hanging out in Prim. And he recently started attacking people with a spiked baseball bat. It's not much, but it's literally the only lead I have right now. What else can you tell me about him? Well, the locals all call him Bat Ghoul. Bat Ghoul. They've seen him way too much, and he's totally not just completely made up. <laughs> Before you go find him, can I ask something? Okay, uh, can I ask something? Sure. He's probably not going anywhere anytime soon. What do you want to know? Uh, how'd the Legion get rid of the road fuckers, and why? Figured you'd be asking that sooner or later. I guess I'll tell you the why first. It started after Sallow got a serious bug up his ass over the dam. He threw everything he had at the NCR to try and take it, and he failed. First, he took his anger out on his current legate at the time, a man named Joshua Graham. Graham was the co-founder of the Legion and Sallow's closest confidant. He was also the direct superior of the Frumentari, making him my boss's boss. Unfortunately, he was also in charge of coming up with a battle plan for fighting the NCR at the dam. Graham was a smart man and a decent leader, but he was a piss-poor tactician. He did fine against the rank-and-file NCR troops since we outnumbered them almost ten to one. But once the Rangers got involved, he didn't stand a chance. They started targeting his commanders and set up one hell of a trap in Boulder City. What kind of trap? You haven't seen Boulder? Go take a look at the place. It looks like just about every other city in this crapsack world now. But before the battle, it was actually in pretty good condition. It's close enough to Vegas that whatever it was House did to protect his town from the nukes also protected Boulder. The Rangers and the other NCR elites lured Graham's main force into the city, then retreated out of it themselves and blew the whole fucking thing up. Turns out they had wired the city, the entire fucking city, with explosives. The Legion lost almost two-thirds of its military and most of its best commanders in the blast. Sallow decided to make an example of Graham's failure. He had him covered in hot tar, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. A usual Saturday night, 
Then he had Octavius Pilate, the then current commander of the Frumentari, crucified for not discovering the NCR's plans ahead of time. So the Frumentari got a new leader, Volpe Sinculta. Inculta's a slimy little bastard, but he's better than anyone I've ever seen at espionage. At the time the Legion first attacked the dam, it was made up of soldiers from 64 tribes, all but the first three of which were brought in by force. It's up to 87 tribes now, and 20 out of those 22 new ones joined willingly because a frumentarius or two worked as intermediaries. Volpe's tactics helped to bring in massive numbers of new recruits for the Legion, and did it without having to kill half the tribe to force the other half to serve. But from time to time, the Legion would come across a tribe or a gang that was either too stubborn or too dangerous to recruit. That's where agents like myself came in. It was my job to infiltrate such groups and set them up to be wiped out, and I was very, very good at it. I don't know whether you know this or not, but most members of the Legion don't have actual Roman names. Most of us are called Robbie. They just go by whatever they were called before they joined the Legion. But if you prove yourself to Salo or one of his commanders, they would bless you with a new Latin name. So is that how you got the name Augustus Gloop? Yes, it is. Augustus of Albuquerque. A name and a title given to me by the great Gaius Julius Caesar himself. Or at least I thought so at the time. I had been a frumentarius since five years before the Battle of the Dam, but I didn't gain my title until the year after it, when I successfully infiltrated a large raider gang that controlled the ruins of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was able to gain their trust and became a top enforcer to one of their leader's lieutenants. I convinced him that the leader was planning a purge and got him to kill his own boss, thinking he was doing it to save his life. It caused a small-scale civil war among the gang, and all I had to do was hang back and wait for most of them to kill each other. The gang dropped from over 200 raiders to less than 50, at which point I contacted a legion detachment waiting nearby. They marched into the city and gave the raiders an ultimatum. Join or die. Most chose to fight us, of course, but since they were all weak and injured from their infighting, it wasn't much of a fight. The Legion only gained about a squad's worth of new recruits from the mission, but they also gained the entire city of Albuquerque, which was a better prize than 500 men would have been. Shelter, supplies, weaponry, the place had it all. And I had just claimed it for Kaisar without losing a single man. I was promoted by several ranks and given my name and title. Fast forward another year and I get put in charge of taking out a mercenary group protecting the NCR's supply lines on the Long 15. The road fuckers. The one and only. Several of our covert raiding squads had been attacked and killed while trying to sabotage the convoy's carrying supplies from the NCR proper out to the settlements around Vegas. The group responsible was too small to track and too skilled for the men we had in the area to beat. The first thing I did was gather as much info on the group as I could, hoping I'd find something I could use to convince them to either join up with us or back off, but no such luck. So next, I sent a small detachment of legionary assassins after them, hoping to at least kill a few of them. Again, no such luck. Which left me with no real choice but to send someone undercover to join them. Since I knew from my research that their leader was a former ranger, I decided to go myself. I was worried that none of the men under my command were good enough to fool him. As it turns out, Billy wasn't the one I needed to worry about. I gave him a story about escaping from the Legion and he believed it right away. He didn't even bother to check any of the details I gave him. I still feel kind of pissed off that I spent so much time and effort making sure they all checked out. The other road fuckers were a lot more suspicious of me, though. Axel especially seemed to realize I was a plant almost immediately. I stayed with the group for six whole months, 
and in all that time, Axel never turned his back on me. I'm sure that's the reason he was able to escape in the end. How did Axeman escape anyway? I'm getting to that. Be patient. Hurry up. Anyway, after spending six months with the road fuckers, I had earned the trust of most of the group. So, when I told them I had information that the Legion was planning to attack a certain caravan, they believed me. All of them but Axel did, anyway. In reality, the caravan itself was a fake. The caravaneers and the guards were all highly trained Legion assassins, and we had another group. One of the largest we've ever snuck into California proper, hiding out along the most remote part of the route. We met up with the fake caravan and headed out into the desert. After almost a week of travel, I sprang the trap. I decided that Billy, even as gullible as he was, was too dangerous to let live. So I killed him myself first. With him gone, we were able to capture the rest of the group, but we took a lot of losses in the process. And Axel's cousin Wayne was mortally wounded. Wayne Brady. You were really skilled enough to kill Billy? Good old Billy! Billy Breacher was 72 years old, blind in one eye, and had arthritis so bad he couldn't even hold a regular gun anymore. So pretty deadly is what you're telling me. That being said, he would have destroyed me in a fair fight. So I drugged his evening cup of tea and slit his throat while he was passed out. Jesus. It was cowardly, and it was unfair, and I'll never forgive myself for doing it. So drop it, and let me get back to my story. Sorry, I'm listening. So, Billy was dead, Wayne was dying, and the rest of the road fuckers were bound and gagged in the back of an airstream. Being pulled by a pair of Brahmin out into the desert, we walked for almost two weeks straight to be sure we'd make it back to Legion territory. Wayne died on the third day of the trip. No one really tried too hard to keep him alive, since we all knew what was in store at the end of our trip. Party. We finally stopped and set up camp when we reached the Dry Canyon. Sallow had given orders that the road fuckers were to be formally executed. Which is why I couldn't just shoot everyone in the back of the head out on the Long 15 and leave them there. As the highest ranking legionary there, it was my job to list off the crimes committed by each road fucker and then condemn them to death. After which two legionaries would untie them and hold them by either arm while the second highest ranked soldier slit their throat with a gladius. I decided to do Axel last, which gave him plenty of time to come up with a plan. On top of that, as I said earlier, he suspected me of being a spy from the beginning. He had somehow managed to hide a small knife on him before he was captured, and as soon as he was untied, he used it to kill both of the soldiers holding him. He grabbed an SMG from one of their corpses and unloaded it at us, running back towards the caravan the whole time. When he reached it, he killed the soldier on guard with his bare hands and jumped onto one of the Brahmin. By this point, most of us had recovered from his surprise attack. He'd wounded several men, but the rest of us got out our weapons and gave chase. We opened fire on him, but he had already cut the Brahmin loose, and he was riding at full speed into the desert. As <laughs> luck would have it, all of the road fucker's weapons were strapped to that Brahmin's pack. So not only did he escape, he escaped with all of his gang's equipment, and a good deal of ours as well. Apparently, at some point, the Brahmin dropped dead, and Axel ended up stranded out here on foot. And you know the rest already. He found that bunker, stored the weapons there, and then got lost in the fucking desert again. <laughs> then that fat trader found him and dumped him off outside Vegas for you to hire. But what happened with you? Why'd you leave the Legion? Why are you living here in this, this weird tent? Sorry, I'm all talked out. Maybe ask me again after you find the bat. Now get going. Your work's almost done. I'm gonna kill you, Cincinnati. You son of a... Investigate bat ghoul. Looks like you got a bat ghoul problem.
Bat Ghoul. That was that was all the dialogue, right? I didn't have Did Bat Ghoul have the bat? I I didn't even go. Then go check, damn it. I'm sorry, Cincinnati. <laughs> they say he's in the sewers. Yep. They say the legions bringing in veterans. Oh. They say I'm a hundred years old. They're right. Damn right. So now, now I kind of want to uh, kill Cincinnati. Now they told us his shit story. Every trap down here has now been <laughs> triggered. Trigger warning, everyone. Oh my god. That was great. I see you, little, little dirt fudge. Watch out, Axeman. You gotta get out of there. Groove Tron. Shit. Well, I threw Axeman into the nether. Well, good luck, Axeman. I hope I didn't mess something up. Probably did. I'm X-Man. What the fuck? Babs? Oh, was she supposed to say something to me? Stop fighting your brethren! Stop. Just do it. Oh, she's fighting Steve. Well, hopefully Babs didn't have anything to say. She may have. Babs key. Ooh, this is nope. Oh no. She's fighting all them sewer goos. She's fighting all them sewer goos. What the f oh. Sneak attack on Steve. It was critical. Ooh. Seems to be a lot of ghouls somewhere over here. Key, key, key. All right, I totally threw axe man's shit. Is this where we came in? No. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm okay. Oh god, I'm not okay. Oh fuck, he's got ninja sword. Shit, Jesus. Fuck, he's throwing something. Yes. I wonder if there's a mod that just disables every, like, just disarm it. Why would I not want to disarm it? Clearly, I want to disarm everything. There's got to be a mod that does that. Nothing fell, right? Steve, let me know if some grenades start falling. Poop my pants. All right, we'll go find Babs. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cool. I wonder what's... Fuck you too! Oh my... Dang it! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I should save when I get in the sewers. God damn it! Shit. Third time's charm, but not really, apparently. So. Oh, it's a shotgun. Stupid shotgun. God damn it. <laughs> Didn't think it it would explode immediately. Oh good. My armor's breaking. All right. 
Where is... No. Okay, so the fuck you room kills us. That's inaccessible. Alright. Let's try to be more careful. Never do the money hop. Do, do, do. Do the bunny hop. Mm -hmm. Do the bunny hop. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, you took care of her. Poor Babs. Did not stand a chance. Look at you, Babs. Just gotta make sure. Had enough. Had enough hot dogs and sausages? God damn it. I haven't. Alright. Alright. This time we don't want to be killed by Sword Boy. Key. Use key. We did this last time. That was insane. Alright. Axeman away! Nope, 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 nope. Not going in there. Not gonna get me this time, Jero. Okay, that's the death claw room. Well, someone's getting killed. Shh, nope. Good job, kinda, maybe. Nope. Nope, still not a good job. Sorry, sluts. Grandpa's home. Grandpa's home and he's pissing on the carpet. Dick Tracy. Ooh. Don't mind if I sewer ghoul do. Dick and Babs. Dick Babs. Ooh. Do you have any mines? I'll chest bridge. You have a better keep man. A chest bridge. You have one better keep man. Bill Chestris, he's put down the Beetle Keep main. Okay, he's taking out this tiny shotgun. Okay, he take the big one out. Open the door. Ow. Batmut. <laughs> Ow. Batmut. Nope. What I, I threw Oh no, I'm sorry, Matt, but Yeah, you better run. You better run. Where you going? You think you could hide on that table? I don't think so. You making these magic ghoul suits? your god now oh no oh no this is spooky curly drawn map with an x marked over a cave and the word condor written and circled at the top oh no oh we gotta find that after this terminalize terminalize we killed us No, 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 you can't disguise. I wonder, wonder if those guys have, uh, if that, uh, band has gotten some extra revenue coming in. Thanks to No Man's Sky. Well, look at this. What did you boys do in here? I leave for two seconds. I leave for two seconds, and what do you do? You knock everyone out, you rip their balls off. 
Oh, but I didn't even get to fight Bakul. What the fuck? I didn't get to fight Bakul. Come on, you guys. My body stretched. Did everyone see that? A man's bad. Bat ghoul. Mmm, bat ghoul. Tell me ghouls, tell me sweet little ghouls. You won't be needing this where you're going. Bring the final weapon back to Cincinnati and kick him in the dick. Cincinnati. Well, my name's Cincinnati. Ooh. Ooh, this, my bat's got feet on it. Look, my bat's got feet. This is a skin bat. Oh, wait. My, my, oh, there's a little, there's, there's a foot. Oh, and there's a dick. Oh, look, there's a big, well, it's nothing. It's like a man had a vagina. I got a mangina. Oh, there's a mangina and little feet. All right. To that's 100% not supposed to be that way, but you know what? It's it's canon now. <laughs> it's either blood, blood or wieners. I, I know that uh, the fat man, the Vietnam fat man, not Vietnam, the uh, NCR Ranger fat man, he had the, uh, he had a dick on his arm that people were telling me about. Well, maybe in this universe, people have dicks on their arms as tattoos.